I know you have a lot of questions in your head. Number one, why are almost all the celebrities' marriage packing up? These people that we look up to, we are happy for one, watch their beautiful content and their journey. Wakes up after 10 years, 20 years, 15 years, 17 years and say they are no longer marrying again. It sounds a bit weird for a lot of people and for the younger people, they don't understand what is going on. I'm going to give you free relationship therapy today because I see a lot of you in my inbox, my DM saying, listen, I want to get married, but I'm afraid. That's why I'm making this video. Now, listen, you cannot know people. One thing you must understand that in marriage, you grow and you outgrow. You learn and you relearn. Yes. If you don't inculcate something in yourself, you're a static person. Your spouses are going to get tired of you. A lot of marriages that are packed up today is compilation of trauma. There are some people that have trauma that they've not healed from. Yes. Trauma is what they call bad character. You see that bad character that somebody is exhibiting is coming from somewhere. Nobody was born bad. So, the celebrities are the ones that we see that their marriage pack up. But every day, I see a lot of couples divorce. The question is, is there any means to keep these people together? No. Because the Bible said two will come in agreement. If they disagree, it simply means there's no more marriage. One person is going to kill the other person. Why am I making this video? Marriage is a very beautiful thing, but you need to understand it. If you're not ready to adjust, inconvenience yourself, sacrifice, put some people first before you, you're not ready to be married. Just remain single and selfish like us. Yes. But if you want to be married, you need to be able to sacrifice some certain things. You can't be married and be single at the same time. Most things that have broken our celebrities' marriages because they don't focus. They just marry for the umbrella sake. They don't give up something. For you to marry, you will give up something. Some people have given up their jobs just to take care of their children at home. Some people have given up their careers. So if you're not ready to sacrifice, you're not ready to love. So this celebrities' marriage is packing up here and there. Most times it's just um, trauma. Trauma from the past. Trauma of the things that you didn't talk about. There are some women that are so quiet that they'll be bottling up things no matter how painful it is to be swallowing it. The day they will explode, you'll be so shocked. Same as some men. A lot of people have bottled anger that they don't want to express. I've told you guys before. Real relationship do not make it to the social media. Real relationship is in their private places, in their private bedroom. They don't even want to see what they're doing. Content creators are those on the media. Go and look at almost all your celebrities that are packed up. They were all content creators creating content with their husbands. We knew most of them. We knew most of their husbands through them. At the end of the day, were they not content creators? So any marriage you see on the internet is not something to admire. It's not real. Real people don't show affection in the camera. Yes, you don't need all that. That one is drama. Show affection inside the room. That's what it's for. That's why it's a private, sacred place. Kissing your boyfriend or your husband in public does not stop people from snatching him from you. In fact, the more you are kissing, they'll be like, ah, nah, 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 nah. you want to use some peppers? They will call that demand from you. So let us be guided. This thing called relationship and marriage is very easy. But the truth is that a lot of us have gotten so selfish, and many of us have gotten so comfortable with being alone that when we have to stay with somebody, is a problem. Yes. Example me, I'm the class captain. I hate visitors. Once you go into my house to visit me, I'll be angry. If I, you don't even give address. Once say blessing, I'm coming to see you. I am not around. 
Some of my friends that know my address will drive and come. I will go and hide. I got so used to being alone that a relationship became a burden to me. It was as if, if somebody said they want to date me, you look as if you want to stress me. Because you know what happens you get into your house, you drop everything. I decided to start to unlearn and relearn. It was hard though. It was hard. My man was really patient. I had to start to unlearn. I realized that this thing I'm calling self-isolation was selfishness. I was all selfish. I don't care about any other person. You need to see where I keep my clothes. If you see where I'm arranging my clothes, and you see when I, if I see my boyfriend's clothes, I'll leave it and pass. That's how selfish I am. He started teaching me. I started unlearning and I started relearning. That is what is making out of this marriage is pack. If this celebrity should come out and tell you what made the marriage pack, you will laugh. People think it's only cheating. No. A lot of men are assisting with their cheating wives. A lot of women are assisting with their cheating husbands. You know, one thing about men and cheating is, did anybody see you? Was it public? So long as your ego is not rubbed off in public, a man can accept you back. The reason why it looks as if a lot of men cannot forgive infidelity is except people have seen their friends have heard it, people caught you, you know, stuff like that. Out of ego, he might not want to accept you back. But if it's something that was private, lots of men are going to accept their wives back. So why am I making this video, my beautiful people? Don't be deceived by content creators. They are two different people. They are not what they are on the media. If truly they can exhibit this kind of love they exhibit on the media, trust me, marriage will never die. So, marriage is still a beautiful thing, but shine your eyes. And you need to understand whether you want to marry a content creator or you actually want to marry your husband and focus on the future. Because a lot of you young girls are just content creators. That's just the truth. So please, marriage is not a place to go and create content. Marriage is a place for memory. Memory simply means what is in your head, not what you bring out. Yes, you don't need to bring out every memory you have. It's not everything that you do that you must say. Shut up your dirty mouth for once and just enjoy the memories in your head. Must you always talk? Now so I go there, hang my leg. Oh, that guy is sweet. Oh, he prick. Will you shut up? Like, it's so funny how you women discuss your men with other women and you think you, that's stupidity. Sex is sacred. Sex is private. Leave it there. Did you hear what I said? To all the beautiful married women out there, I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you're battling with. But hold on. Everything is going to be fine. It's not better anywhere. Wherever you run to, it's not better. Somebody came and told me, Blessing, please, I want to leave my marriage. How do I leave my marriage? And I told her, the fact that you came to ask me, how do you leave your marriage, simply means you don't want to leave. You are only looking for a validation. So that tomorrow, if something happens, you say, it's Blessing, see you that asked me to leave. I don't make decisions for people. I only help direct you. As a certified therapist, my it's not to make decisions for you. That's why when I come and drop my opinions on the internet, I wonder why people are crying. Because this is an opinion. But because you can see facts in it, but you don't want to agree to it. So I told the woman, when you were marrying this man, I wasn't there. Anything you want to do, when you come to me for therapy, the first thing I teach you is consequences. I will never ask you not to cheat you. I will never ask you, you're an adult, you're full grown women. Most of my clients are matured, rich women, including me. I cannot come and tell you what to do at the age of 40 or the age of 50. I'm just 34 years. The only thing I will tell them is the consequences. It's like when you go to the hospital and they run a test, the doctor will tell you, reduce on your sugar, reduce on your intake of burger, is a warning bell. This is the implication of diabetes and other arthritis. If you're a sensible person, you will cough down on your, on your calories. That is my job. To teach you the consequences of every action you're going to take. Because I will not be there when you are suffering. I will still be here on television, still talking. And you're going to have to consult me and pay me double. If you don't listen. So please, shine your eye. Marriage is not a place you go and be doing testing, testing, testing. Either you are there, focused and faithful, or you are single and stupid. 
la cosa.